we're going to be making a short animated story with consistent characters using one single tool. There are so many different good video models we can use, like Vue, like Kling. There are also a ton of different really good AI image generators, like Midjourney, Ideogram, the list goes on and on. So to create our animated AI story, ideally we want to go to each one and pick out the best features and create consistent characters to create our story, but that would be very costly. So we're going to be using one single tool that has access to all the different platforms, all the different models, but also makes it really easy, have them all work together. As always, I'll have a link in the description below today's tool is called Polo AI when you first sign in you're going to get a screen that looks like this and it looks pretty busy but it's actually fairly well organized considering how much is here so we have AI video so we can do like image to video text to video we have AI images and AI avatars and those are like the three main features at the top then they have a whole row of different video templates we can use. So we can do like a whole kissing generator, an animal caught on clip, and you can kind of see all the different ones. So like a twerking video or whatever, there's a whole list. And then if we go down, there's other buttons here with like photo effects and video effects. And then if we keep scrolling down, we can actually see what people have made that they have shared out. And we can actually like highlight one of these and be like, yeah, we really like this. And we can just click try same tool. They also have like a limited time 50% off. However, when you're going to check out, if you put in Franklin 20, you're going to get an additional 20% off. But does that even matter if the tool is not good? Well, let's jump in and give it a go. Before we jump in and create our AI story, let's try some of the different features that they have so we can like get an idea of how this all works together. So we can try AI avatar to start and we can do like mimic motion or photo to video avatar so let's just try this one they have like some samples we can use here or we can like upload our own and I definitely want to upload our own because I think that's how we'll know how well it works so we have this photo here of AI Dana and we can have a script or we can upload our own audio we can also change the voice that we want and there's a good selection of them we can adjust the speech rate we can adjust a prompt, which is gonna like basically describe how the avatar is going to respond. There are some pretty cool options here. So we can have like public visibility so anyone can see what we're creating or we can make it public, but we can also enable copy protection, which basically will hide the prompt. It looks like for this specific tool, we don't really get a choice of which video model it's going to use because it's using its own built-in video model and we'll see how well it looks. Don't forget to subscribe for more AI. Good call, AI Dana. Don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. On the right here, it gives us all sorts of different information. We can also like edit and regenerate it, upscale it. We can use video to video and just start modifying it in different ways or add sound effects. So there's mimic motion and we have our image uploaded and then we can pick like a motion in the template and then we can hit create and you can see it is generating. We're gonna see what this comes up with. You can see the video generation actually failed, but that's not a bad thing because the credits were returned to our account. So we're not actually wasting credits for something we didn't get. But we do have one that works and I realized the problem for the mimic motion, we need a full body shot. So anyway, here she is doing the robot. We definitely need sound. Lights, no time to run. Keyboard warriors having fun. A click, a claim, a strike is done. Your channel's toast before it's begun. Robot hands and zero grace, chasing you through cyberspace. Copyright cop gonna take you down. No fun, no jokes, no beats, no sound. You play, you pay, no way around. So we did say that we can use different video models that we're not stuck with there. So let's go to text to video. And now we have a drop down so we can select which video model we want. So we can actually use Google VO3 fast or any of the other models that are listed below. So let's try Google VO3 fast. We're gonna enter in a prompt. So we have a prompt here, which is a woman in red contrasting a gray crowd, checks, watches in fast blur, sepia tones, highlights, urgency. We have advanced settings that we can like enable. So we can like say, hey, do we want to generate audio or not? We can pick our resolution and obviously depending on what we pick, the credits will go up or down and it gives you all that. We can pick a seed or we can have it randomize or we can just lock in and say, hey, this is the seed we want. 
there's also negative prompts we can add or the number of videos we want to generate all in one go. It's pretty good. This is the quality of VO, right? So of course it's gonna be good. I wanna try like one of these settings here in the bottom right. So let's try like lip sync and let's see if we can like add to a Google VO clip that was already generated and add some audio. But none of this is actually even possible if you're just using Google Gemini because VO3 just generates the video. You don't have the ability to take it from one model to the next like I just did really seamlessly. There is no rush. I have time. So you can see her lips actually like work really well based off what she's saying and everyone's walking by her. It did remove the background audio, which I figured it probably would, but it'd be like really easy. I can download the other clip, download this one, and then like combine them in DaVinci Resolve or whatever video editor you want. And we can like adjust the audio levels and we can get a pretty cool clip, but you can see it works well. And we took a VO clip and then we modified it with lip sync right in the same like tool, really seamless. We can also pick image to video. So for example, say we want to pick like mid journey. So say we have like the Mona Lisa, we can use a prompt. Like I want the lady to run a bike and we can output the number or decide the number of videos we want to generate and we can hit create. And you can see here now that we have four, we actually have four of them generating. So you can see polio failed to generate this video. And I don't think it's actually polio. I think it's mid journey. It doesn't want us to use the Mona Lisa. And I tried it twice. We did get back our credit. So there's that, but my backup was a bunny riding a bike. So we can see the first one here. The bunny just jumps up and starts riding and it looks pretty good. We have the second one here where the bunny is riding an invisible bike. It's there in its mind. And then we have this one here where the bunny again just kind of jumps on and he's riding a cute little bike and it looks actually pretty good. And we have this final one here where he's kind of driving or riding towards the screen. In the top left here, we're just on like the video tab. We can quickly switch to images so we can go like text to image or image to image or inspiration. There's like a huge list of stuff we can do with just images now. So if we went to like Flux Dev, for example, there are a bunch of different Lauras we can access. So you can kind of see there is a huge amount. So if we go to like food, we can see all the different food ones. Or if we go to plants, you can see all the plant ones. The list is ridiculous. It just goes on and on and it feels like it scrolls infinitely with snow piling up quickly around a steady pine. And again, we can pick our aspect ratio, number of images. So we can pick like two. We're going to hit create and you're going to see the two images generate with our round eye monster. And we can even decide the weight of how much we want. So each tool that you add or integrate, it has a ton of nested settings. So we can see our two images now. So image one and image two, and they look good. Now we're going to create our AI animated story. So we are on text image. We need an image to start. We're gonna be using image in four, because it's photorealistic images. We're gonna say an 11 year old girl with brown hair, brown eyes sitting at the dinner table with an empty plate. We can also select styles that they have like built in and we definitely want one of these styles like cute cartoon, let's try that. And we can go 16 by nine, we're gonna generate four images and we're gonna just have it go. Uh, as you can see, I was playing around with some other models but they were saying, no, we don't wanna do that because it is an 11 year old girl but I think Imogen will work and it will do a very good job. I just don't know how the style thing will work because that's not built in to Google Gemini's tool set. So I think that they add these little things to it that make it substantially better. So like you can go to Gemini and generate it, but you're not gonna have like the style option and this looks really good. So we have this option here, which she looks kind of upset and sad and that's kind of what we wanna go for. But we also have like this one here, that one or this one or that one. So I, I kind of feel like this one's like the most cartoonish. I think we're gonna go with this image here to start. If I move myself out of the way, you're gonna see at the bottom right here, we have InPaint. So we can actually click that and then we can highlight the little napkin thing here. And then we can say, hey, I want it to be a red checkered pattern instead of blue. And it's going to change that part of our image to update it with the exact little tweaks we want because for our AI animated story, we want every detail to be perfect. So now you can see the updated image here and it looks pretty good. We're going to start with this. We're gonna first start out with image to video and we're gonna upload the image that we just created. 
So we're going to start off with like a prompt. The girl's upset because she has no food and we can hit generate. We're going to generate two of these. We'll pick the best out of the two. That'll be our starting part of our little AI cartoon. So we generated a whole bunch of different clips. As you can see here, we used the image to image to generate pictures of her on her bed sleeping. We have different versions here and eventually we're going to have her waking up sleeping. We're going to download all these different clips that I've just generated using all the different tools I showed you in this video. We're going to piece it all together using DaVinci Resolve, which is my video editor of choice. And it looks like this. If we come back, you can see on the left, we're on like AI tools at the bottom on the image tab, and you can see all the different things that they have. So we can do like AI art generators or local background removers, and the list goes on. You can kind of see them all. There's a decent selection of everything you can do, but then we can kind of go to here and then we can go to AI tools. So on the video side and go to AI tools. And now we're going to see all the different video tools, or I could have clicked video tools, I guess. And you can see all the different video tools that they have. So we can do like video upscaler or the AI talking baby podcast or video to anime. Like there's a lot of different stuff we can do. So we can actually take the video we just generated and convert it to anime, or we can add like a video filter. So if we hit add a video filter, we can upload the video we just created. We can pick a style and change up how it looks. So let's try to go with this like modern anime. We're going to click recreate and we have the updated version here. There's something about the aesthetics about this that I find just kind of interesting. It's like the background just keeps kind of like animating and fading and it it's kind of interesting. It's hard to explain, but I find it like kind of fascinating that the background just has these like minor changes throughout. So like as you're watching it, like you can literally see everything slightly adjust. It's fascinating. As I said before, I have a link in the description below. You guys can check out this tool. I think it's pretty good. Now I have 1,516 credits left and I can go through and use some of these other tools, but we already know what I'm going to use them for. And while that's generating, if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. Don't forget to like the video. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content. And you want to see more of it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video.